Hey there, I'm Benjamin from Love Starter. If you're advertising with Google Ads, then as you build out your campaigns and account, it's likely that you'll be increasing your overall advertising spend. For example, when you add a new campaign, you'll also be increasing your budget. So how can you review and control your advertising costs in Google Ads? Well, that's exactly what I'm gonna cover in this video. We're going to explore four different ways we can control the advertising spend for our Google Ads account. We're going to cover campaign budgets, shared budgets, setting a monthly spend limit, and using rules. Let's head to Google Ads to take a look. I've already logged into my demo Google Ads account, so I encourage you to open your own Google Ads account to follow along. To start, make sure you're viewing all of the campaigns in your account. To do this, make sure you have all campaigns selected on the top left corner of the interface. Once you've done this, I want you to go ahead and select campaigns from the secondary menu. You can see there are four campaigns in my demo account. So the first technique you can use to review your advertising costs is to look for the total account budget in the very last row of the table. At the bottom, under Budget, we can see the total row. And this tells us the total daily budget for the account is $5 a day. If you don't change the daily budgets for any of your campaigns in a calendar month, then you won't be charged more than 30.4 times your daily budget amount. However, the amount you're charged each day can be higher or lower than your budget. This is to factor in trends that occur on different days. Coming back to my account, since the daily budget is $5, this means for a calendar month where we don't change the budgets, I won't be charged more than $152. This is 30.4 times the daily budget. So checking the total budget for your campaigns is a good way to review how much the account can spend. Another option you can use in Google Ads is to create a shared budget. This is a single budget that is used by multiple campaigns in the account. Typically, I prefer allocating budgets for each campaign separately, but let's take a look at how we can apply a shared budget. To create a shared budget, we select Tools and Settings, and then Shared Budgets under Shared Library. You'll see any existing shared budgets here, and we can create new ones. Let's add a new shared budget. We can now name our budget. Select the campaigns that will use the shared budget. This will automatically combine the individual budgets from the campaigns we select. So we can see for these campaigns, we would have a shared budget of $3. We can then click Save. Our shared budget has now been created, and we can adjust the total shared budget. To do this, just hover over the daily budget column, and click the edit icon. Change the shared budget, and click save. This means we've now adjusted the shared budget used by the campaigns we selected. Now I want to show you another way to control your advertising costs. We're going to apply a monthly spend limit to our account. This sets a maximum budget for the account. And as soon as your monthly spend limit is reached, your ads will stop running. Let's take a look. To set a monthly spend limit, we select Tools and Settings. And then we choose Settings under Billing. At the top, we can see the option to set a monthly spend limit. I need to highlight that this option isn't available in all Google Ads accounts. So if you don't see this option for an account, then you will need to use another approach. I will walk through how you can use a rule to automatically pause campaigns when they reach a defined budget in a moment. Let's select the monthly spend limit. In my demo account, we can see I've set a monthly spend limit of $30 for the month. You can also see I've already reached this amount, so the ads in the account have stopped running, and they won't run again until the following month. So if the monthly spend limit option is available in your account, 
you just need to turn it on and set the maximum amount you want your account to spend each month. Then click Save. Since my demo account has a total daily budget of $5, if all of these campaigns were enabled, then ads would typically run for the first six days in a month. Then ads would stop running since we would likely reach the $30 limit. If you don't have the monthly spend limit option in your account, you could consider using rules to automatically pause campaigns when they reach your desired monthly spend. Let's take a look at how to do this. Let's select Tools and Settings and choose Rules under Bulk Actions. Now let's click the plus sign to create a new rule. Let's name the rule Pause Campaigns $30 per month. Let's select the campaigns that the rule applies to. After clicking the drop down, let's choose Selected Campaigns. Choose the campaigns and click Done. Then for the action, let's set the campaign status to Enabled so that we're just checking Active Campaigns. And let's add a condition. Choose Cost and select Greater Than or Equal To and enter 30 as the value. Then let's set the action to Pause Campaigns. This will mean that when the cost reaches $30 for an individual campaign, the campaign will be paused automatically. Then for Frequency, we can set when we'd like the conditions to be checked. And we need to ensure Using Data From is set to This Month. We can then save the rule. Now let's create another rule that will enable the paused campaigns the following month. Let's name the rule Enable Campaigns. Let's select the same campaigns we used for the other rule. And click Done. Then let's add a condition. And search for and select Status. Choose Paused. And click Apply. Now let's set the action to Enable Campaigns. This will mean that any of our selected campaigns that are paused will automatically be enabled. Now for Frequency, let's select Monthly. Then ensure 1 is selected for the day. And let's select 12am to 1am. And for Using Data From, let's choose This Month. This will mean that our conditions are checked on the first day of each month. Now let's save the rule. These two rules will now mean that any of the campaigns we selected will be paused when they've spent $30 in a month. And then they will be enabled the following month. So using rules is another approach you can use, especially if the monthly spend limit option isn't available in your account. Remember that setting a daily budget for each of your campaigns is one of the best ways to control how much campaigns will spend. Plus, as we've covered, there are additional options you can use to control your advertising budget in Google Ads. How do you monitor your advertising budget in Google Ads? Do you have any tips you'd like to share? I'd love to know. Let me know in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, please like it so I know to make more videos like this one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.